right now at five. It, it just, it still seems like a nightmare that we're trying to wake up from. As the death toll climbs from the devastating brush fires, frustration builds among residents seeking access into West Maui. Up, I want to go back to my home, but these guys are killing us. Officials revealed reports of looting where homes are still standing. The most brazen ones, I think, occurred right after the incident itself. The first lawsuit related to the potential cause of the fires has been filed. But through these trying times, the community remains Maui strong. And we continue our breaking news coverage of the Maui wildfires disaster. The death toll now stands at 99. Starting tomorrow, the names of those killed will be identified to loved ones by the Maui Police Department. Chief John Pelletier says three fatalities have been positively identified by fingerprints so far. The mayor says anyone with missing family should go to the Family Assistance Center in Kahului for a DNA swab. Meantime, federal authorities are still calling calling their response a search and rescue operation with hundreds still reportedly unaccounted for. Phase zero, the recovery of remains is currently underway. Right now, Governor Josh Green says there are just under 2,000 units available to get people sheltered. More than 2,200 structures were destroyed in Lahaina during the fires, 80% of them residential homes. We have team coverage on the latest developments on Maui. We begin with our Chelsea Davis. She joins us live in Wailuku with more on the growing frustration from Maui residents after the suspension of a placard program to access West Maui today. Chels? Yeah, Steph, I'm outside War Memorial Gymnasium here in Wailuku, where volunteers and community members are still desperately trying to get all these donations that you see behind me on the flatbed, in the containers, under the tent, even on the ground here. They're desperately trying to get it to the survivors. And that's part of the reason why the county created a system at Keopulani Park, which is just down the road here, that would give certain individuals a placard, and that would give them access into West Maui. The line this morning morning stretched for miles and it was chaotic from early in the morning. And we saw people we arguing with each other because they thought others line. were trying to cut in line. And, and the line fire, of cars wrapped all around Keopulani Park, line, down Wahinepio Avenue, so down West like Ka'akumanu like Avenue, like down Kanaloa yeah. Avenue, yeah. down toward Kahului Beach Road, then finally ending on Lower Main Street. People waited in line for hours before they officially opened at 9 a.m. Then all of a sudden, we heard there was something happening at the county building. Those nearby saw police officers run into the county building and shortly after that the Maui Police Department issued a statement saying due to the overwhelming demand of non-essential individuals and non-Maui residents who have flooded the distribution areas we are suspending the placard program until further notice then police started driving around on their loudspeakers notifying everyone around 10 20 this morning that the placard program was abruptly called off people waiting in line down were extremely upset. The idea was placards were going to be given out to West Maui residents, West Maui resort personnel, first responder personnel, medical personnel, utility personnel, county of Maui personnel, supply transport personnel, and volunteer personnel. But that was all stopped at around an hour and a half after it opened. And there's no telling when that may be allowed again. So a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, people still just trying to get to work out there, people trying to get out to their homes. Now the Kahakuloa way, which is the back way to the west side, is open for residents. But a lot of people I talked to today say that it's very dangerous, that road. And so they they don't feel safe, they don't feel comfortable, they've damaged their cars, and they don't want to go that way. So that was part of the reason why a lot of them were in the line. So a lot of frustration still growing and confusion here on Maui. Steph, back to you.
Chelsea Davis reporting live for us. Thank you, Chelsea. And again, the county will soon begin releasing the names of the fire victims who have been identified. Their families are being notified first, and that's one of the new details released during a news conference that just ended a few minutes ago on Maui. Our Steve Uehara continues our team coverage. He joins us now live with more. Steve. Yeah, Stephanie, sorry, we just got out of the news conference a little while. And tomorrow marks a very real, very somber moment in this crisis. Uh, Chief Pelletier said just a little while ago that they're going to confirm the identities of uh, three of the victims from the fires. They'll be going to talk to uh, families come tomorrow. And uh, again, those notifications will go out. But once we get a positive, we have to contact the family. And then we have to make sure that we give that family that notification. We're obligated to give the family notification before I can release that. You can imagine how painful that's going to be. And we're going to have to get it out. And so we want to give them that little bit of time. But what we will do is daily, and I'll figure this out, we'll push it forward tomorrow because we'll make the notifications tomorrow. We'll push it once, once a day with if there's an update. So please, uh, I get reporters asking about traffic, texting me and calling me directly. I got too much things to do than me personally talk about traffic. So don't call about, do you have an update on the number? We'll get it to you. I promise you we will. We're going to do it right the first time. So we'll publish it, and let's just say we'll have the names, and then we'll have how many are uh, identified pending family notifications, so you'll know that. And then obviously the rest of that number, whatever's left, we're still diligently working trying to make sure that we can identify. And that's why that DNA is so important because we got fingerprints from three. Okay, just to clarify, Pelletier says that only 25% of the area has been searched for those who have died in the fire. And of the 99 people who have been confirmed dead, only three have been identified at this point. Now, I pulled Chief Pelletier on the side after the press conference just to clarify something. And he said, you know what, there has been one person that was identified and they reached out to the family, but they can't consider that a confirmation just yet because they have not heard back from the family. So at this point, those three have still not been confirmed. Steph. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Well, the first of what could be a flood of lawsuits connected to the deadly fire were filed today, and the complaints say Hawaiian Electric should be held responsible. The suits accuse the utility of negligence and that its poles and power lines contributed to the spread of the blaze through Lahaina Town. They say the company failed to properly inspect its poles, did not de-energize its lines with the threat of fire and high winds, and did not properly warn residents and businesses. Honolulu firm Davis Levin Livingston has also launched its own independent investigation after hearing from concerned residents. The live wires that, um, uh, that failed to uh, be shut down from the grid uh, on, you know, combined with the, uh, the conditions uh, were the things that we think, uh, we believe initially, and I want to say that our uh, investigation is ongoing and we're still in the process of trying to evaluate you know, how, the, how these various factors played together. The firm is also working with attorneys who worked on cases connected to the deadly wildfires in Northern California, which accused utility PG&E of negligence. Hawaiian Electric says it does not comment on pending litigation and its immediate focus is on supporting emergency response efforts on Maui and restoring power. It also adds the cause of the fire has not been determined.